Yeah, Johnny only did. Oh. Johnny? Oh, John Wick. Yeah, John Wick. Only with Swiss. Or he do this. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Johnny always did. Do you put on silence or like? Yeah, yeah silence. Why are you killing me? You're killing me. You have to have silence. The movie, Young Week. That's okay, you don't die. Have a easy kill. He has not seen Young Week. Right there. He has not seen Young Week. He's so mad. Don't worry, I haven't seen it either. I haven't either. Wait, really? You haven't watched it? You should watch it. I know, I should. I should also watch Black Panther. No, like John Wick is John actually Wick? Like one of the best movies. Keanu really? Reeves, really? Uh, one of the best movies. <laughs> Very lewd boy. Oh yeah. yeah. You need to Come see it. Very good. Okay. Very good. okay. Yes. Hello, drama. John Wick라고 그거 뭐냐? 그냥 권총한 영화도 못상 찍는 거 있어. 뭔 찍힌 영화? 뭔 찍힌? 뭐? So it's twenty minutes next. 거기 가서 막총 고르고 그거지. 아, 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 something that obviously we have to learn to deal with. How do we keep everyone involved? How do we utilize everyone's strengths optimally? You know, we have three very diverse DPS players. We have obviously two off, two off tanks, two main tanks, so our tank line is very solid. How do we maximize that? Uh, so I think it's just a learning experience for me personally, because there's a lot of things in the air. Ultimately, I think it's great to have competition uh, at, at those key positions and to really bring the best out of everyone and I feel like I think it's gonna take a while but I think we're starting to see the fruits of that. With Awesome Guy and Saga Player coming in, uh, we always obviously had to integrate them into the team one way or another. Um, I didn't play this week against Boston or London. <laughs> um, and I've just been spectating scrims and uh, working on my own mechanics in a way, like playing ranked and, and stuff like that. Right now I'm not playing, so I've just tried to help the team with Especially with awesome guy with like some communication stuff, say if it's call outs on a map, um, like uh, any tip I can give him if there's a cool spot I know about, I can show him that. Um, just to try and give him as much help as he can possibly get, because obviously there's a language barrier and if we can eliminate that problem as soon as possible, it's just going to be better for the team. It's not fun not playing, obviously. I, I do want to play. We'll see what the, the future holds and uh, how we're going to split the playing time. I will play again, that's for sure. Um, the question is, uh, what will I play or against who will I play? Um, and stuff like that, that needs to be figured out still. So stay tuned, I will play again. I won't be perma bench. Uh, like some other teams do. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Going into this week's games, obviously not being part of the, the starting lineup or any part of the lineup throughout the game. During our first match versus London, I was actually not present at the studio. Those were like the days where I felt really bad and I kind of just decided to stay home, kind of like zone myself off from everyone, uh, not just the team, but any other uh, human being around me. Uh, so I kind of just to, like, saw the game as a spectator more like. Um, obviously, there is that, you know, being a teammate. So like, obviously I was cheering for them, I was rooting for them, you know, seeing the mistakes we did, seeing the good things we did. Um, so definitely it's a weird factor seeing it from home. 
especially because you don't, you know, you don't hear the voice comes, so you don't know what's going on. You don't talk to the guys during halftime. So it's definitely a weird vibe watching from home. For me, personally, at least, I would say frustrating. I feel like we have way more potential and it's just kind of lackluster sometimes when we get on stage and fixing problems and stuff like that isn't like as fast as it could be. I mean, there's always some pressure from the organization and so forth and I think it's it should be that way and it's that for everyone most likely. For me it doesn't affect me that much but having like those talks that gotta do better and having one-on-one -on -one with the coach and coach telling me what he expects of me and so forth I think those are like motivating even though they give a little bit of stress and so forth but I feel like the last couple of weeks have been big for me because I think I have been improving communication-wise pretty nicely and then coach is telling me more what to do so uh, I don't look like an idiot on stage because they tell me how to play the game. Uh, I think playing with Awesome Guy this week was very different from Sush in both good and bad ways. Like Sush is way more talkative, like he has a very high voice in our team usually. Uh, but Awesome Guy is just, like he doesn't really require resources from anyone. Like he kind of plays in a way where he can set up with like any DPS player and he kind of just makes it alone in a really good way. I don't really have to babysit him much at all which is both good and bad thing. Like usually you want your tanks to play together, obviously, but it plays in a very different way that works in sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. So I just need to find the synergy with him to make it more consistent. That'll be very hard to accomplish. What? No, that's good. That'll be very hard. But like a sock over it or something. Yeah, skip this. Or like a smiley face. Like a captain's hat. Like yeah, like a captain's hat. Hmm. Is that me? But where's the hair? Hair. Yeah. Well, you have no hair. Who? Oh. Yes. Uh, go, go forth, my children. Okay. Okay, okay guys. go. Um, most important to remember what we saw in the scrims today. Uh, always talk about if we need to switch something. We saw Junker Town, we win because we talk about it, we figure out what's optimal. Uh, also, most important thing, uh, who is walking out first? Tick? <laughs> Don't forget the routine. Yes. You forgot yeah. the claps last time. Don't forget oh, the clap is no, no. Yeah, no you have to, it has to live on. It, it, it is inherited by whoever is walking out. First. Yes, yes, it's a great responsibility. I hope you can handle it. Okay. I believe in you, okay? Let's go. Let's win. Let's go, boys. Wow! Whoa, oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> so many fucking people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't seem to be slowing down, so it's gonna be, I think, closer than a 4 0 this time. But I still think Boston should have the advantage coming into this one. All right, it's time to close out week two here in stage three. Make some noise as we bring out our team, starting with the squad from Florida. Please give it up for the mayhem. I get put on notice. We got Svik chucking the tire in there. Nothing to protect Kellex, unfortunately for him. None of that first, but here we go. Mistakes with the blade out. Finds the one kill. There's the second. Could be making the difference here for his team as they've spotted out the Zen as well. Stuck in the corner. Nowhere for Zupe to go. And Gomsu will stomp him. And now just keep a body on that card at all times here. And you're so close to sneaking it in. Two and a half meters left for Boston Uprising, and if, and if they stop contesting for an yeah. instant, they could just sneak this through. If Boston Man Uprising, trouble. Yeah, you keep it on there. One, minute, one meter left, Zupe finally has to throw the trance in, but he's gonna have to give ground, and that's gonna be it. The second they leave the point floor to Mayhem, Boston Uprising are able to pick up their second map in this series. 
in general, just like don't don't get rattled. Like you lose you lose a fight, you say sorry. Don't like think about the next fight. Don't think about. Yeah, but, yeah, but just don't don't worry about it. Like shit. Yeah, exactly. Let's get this, boys. What's up? Well, Stryker's going to try to single-handedly bring this back. He gets Zebo and now Saya player down. It seems like there might be just a little bit too much despite taking Tavik down there. Awesome guy trying to close this one out. Knocking them all off. Florida, not dead yet. Will take Nepal. There's a high value target, a big kill coming in for mistakes, and they are able to challenge here. Boston Uprising leading the way. Ah, it doesn't matter. Saya player took down Nako, took down Striker. Mistakes will soon follow, and Florida will continue to push on Junkertown, looking to take us to a map vibe with this very impressive offense thus far. Or actually, that was Nate Madison's at first, right on top of notes. They will both fall, and Florida forces a map number five. Hey. Tell me how you feel about Oasis. We expected to show up all day today. They saved their best for last, and Boston will win Oasis and by proxy the series over the Florida Man. First Boston, I was not confident because I need more time. I don't have any more. It's I'm I'm good on stage. I'm not nervous. Before I play a song guy with Mera Athena, so I think much better. Uh, I play more aggressive and good combo. I think next week, I think not easy, not easy too. I think we need focus more team play, not enemy teams. We just focus our team team play. Me and Osan guy on today. Good chemistry and synergy. I want more, much better. Earlier this week, I got approached by Mineral, um, and he talked to me pretty much about our very limited time playing with me, um, awesome guy, and either Tavik or Sai. I don't remember the maps we did play. Um, it was a combination of both, and basically uh, the coaching staff, Mineral and Ryder combined, decided that for this week we were going to try a six-man roster, uh, basically not, like trying to build as much synergy as possible for our Boston and London game. Uh, I was informed that I was not going to play this week. Um, that combined with having a few rough days with my depression, um, I basically made the decision to take a step back from the team, um, have a little bit of time for myself, and that's why you didn't see me play this week. Like, not playing Overwatch 24-7 is weird. Because I kind of had to force myself to not like launch a game and go into ranked, because it's like just, it's such a grind, just knowing that there's people out there. Like, if you're sleeping, they care not, there's people grinding. If you're playing another game because I like literally forced myself to not play Overwatch. I knew that there was someone else grinding and that's kind of scary in a sense that uh, there's people grinding whilst you're just, I mean obviously for a reason this time, um, not playing the game so that was kind of scary but obviously coming into this week I'm motivated to start grinding again. I don't think Florida Mayhem can make the overall playoffs or the season playoffs anymore. Uh, it would probably require a miracle like I don't know the maths behind it, but we're more than likely out of the playoffs by this point. It's not a fun feeling at all, uh, working so hard uh, every day, trying our best, but it just wasn't enough. Um, we, we still fight hard, we still come into practice every day with the motivation of winning. No one is giving up, we will still do our best to maybe make stage three playoffs if the planets align and if that doesn't work out stage four is going to be our hail mary so to speak we have to do our best we have to win and we will do everything in our power to to win the the stage four playoffs